APIs, Application Programming Interface. Imagine two apps trying to work together, say Uber and Google Maps. Uber wants to show live traffic and routes. Instead of building its own map system from scratch, it uses Google Maps API to ask for data like give me the fastest route from point A to point B. And this is what APIs do. They define how software systems interact like a contract. They specify what data can be requested, how to ask and what response to expect. Think of APIs as a box of rules. You send a request like give me the user's profile. The API checks if that request is valid and secure. It talks to an internal system, usually a database or an application logic. It returns a response, usually in the format of JSON, which is easy to be read by programs. There are lots of real world examples like Spotify's API lets developers build apps that play music or fetch playlists and payment APIs helps apps securely process transactions. And APIs are very important when it comes to building applications. And one of the major uses of APIs is modularity. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, instead just use the existing services. For example, if you're creating an application for people to order food, your goal is to help people order food. You don't need to create a map system from scratch. Instead, you can use Google Maps API to request for location related services. The next reason is security. APIs expose only what's needed, not the whole system. And scalability, it's easy to update or replace parts of a system without breaking everything. In simple terms, APIs are how apps say, hey, I need this info, and the other system responds, here you go, in the format you expect. They are the glue that holds modern digital services together.